Moffat was chartered as a borough in 1648. It grew to become a fashionable spa town, with the bathhouse built in 1829, now the town hall, and the 300-bedroomed Hydro Hotel built in 1878, which was destroyed by fire in 1921. The wide main street is the centrepiece of this genteel borders town, which is home to the country's narrowest street, Syme Street, and even the shortest, Chapel Street. On High Street is located the narrowest hotel in the UK, the famous Star Hotel, only 20 feet wide and featured in the Guinness Book of Records. The Moffat Ram, a statue also on High Street, interestingly has no ears. Indeed, it is even rumoured the sculptor, William Brodie, later committed suicide for this omission. The roadmaker, John Loudon McAdam, died penniless in the town and is buried here. The commander of the RAF during the Battle of Britain, Air Chief Marshal Lord Hugh Dowding, was born here. Moffat House on High Street is an Adam mansion built for the Earl of Hopeton in 1767. It was while staying here that James Macpherson launched his Ossian Fragments in published form. This great work shook the whole of Europe at the time and is still much debated by scholars. The town has a long tradition of accommodating visitors and numerous bed and breakfasts offer a very comfortable overnight stay. A little north of the town on the scenic route to our capital city is the Devil's Beef Tub, a hollow carved by a glacier at the head of the valley which was much used by cattle reavers of old. Another natural phenomena is the Grey Mare's Tail, a waterfall pouring over the lip of a hanging valley and the fifth highest in the country. From here you can walk to Loch Skeen. Britain's rarest fish, the Vendas, has been reintroduced here from the Lake District. A path continues up to the summit of the highest hill in the southern uplands, White Coombe. 